Hi guys, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold Professional and welcome to the channel. Now I've been seeing so many people ask about how do I leak power? Well, this is how you leak power and how do I stop standing up? So this is one move every golfer has to know to stop standing up in the golf swing. And to help me, I need the help with this one. We've got Nasty on the channel. We've got two exercises, one off course, one on course that are really gonna help you dial in your game. Let's get to it. Right now, so first off, why, why do we stand up? I think really the simplest answer is a lack of mobility and typically a lack of lower body strength. So we've come up with a really simple exercise using a 54 degree wedge. You can use a normal wedge, 60 or pitching wedge that you can do on the range at home to sort of counteract awesome. that problem really quickly. So what we're gonna do, Alex, if we take the wedge and you lie yep. it flat, so this will work for both feet. You just have to move your feet over, basically. And would you repeat both sides? Definitely both yeah. sides for this drill. We're gonna lie the club flat, because the key to this is to make sure that you keep the, the club touching the floor. So all I'm gonna do is place my heel on the club like that, and my goal, basically, is to keep the club touching the floor. So if my weight comes to my toes, it comes off. I'm gonna lose it, basically. Which, that's, that's like our standing up in the dance. Exactly, yeah. that's the position we're trying to avoid. Yeah. So really simple, heel comes onto the club, yeah. nice tight grip with it. And what I want you to feel is we're gonna come into sort of a split stance position or a lunge position, this back foot in line with the hip, not too close to this foot, otherwise we're gonna feel really off balance. It is quite tricky this, I can feel already my legs shaking a bit, <laughs> I've not even moved anywhere. All I want you to do is drop straight down. Imagine okay. you're in a phone box, you can't touch any of the sides. If you want to, you can hold your hips to help because we're gonna try and keep the butt underneath a little bit. So if I go the opposite way, you'll see my belt buckle come forwards. Yeah, so weight go towards I'm the I'm trying to keep belt buckle roughly parallel to the floor. Nice. And then all I'm going to do from here is drop straight down and push up. And I can feel it already straight away. It's really hard in my butt. I can see the club shaking a little bit. And how so many reps should down, we do? Like coming up. I think roughly, if we can aim for eight to ten, yeah. that's a good standard. But then if like if someone can only do five, that's also not a bad thing. Something exactly. Something's better than nothing. Definitely build your way up. You can only do three, you can only do three. Try four next time round. Aim for roughly 10, that'll help improve the glute strength and a little bit of the hip mobility as well. Awesome, so there's the first part. Let's get into part two. Right now, so if I can take that club, this drill can be done exactly the same and you can get some great feelings from part one to bring into part two. So all I want you to do is address that golf ball and I would actually start with driver. Oh, okay. I, I, know, I know obviously it's probably one of the harder clubs, but when you're at the driving range, it's obviously teed up, so contact's a little bit easier to get than something that's down the ground. Now place, once you've got in your setup, that wedge underneath your left heel. And I want you just to first off, just simply, just make some practice swings, trying to feel like you put your weight into your left heel and you're more over the ball. So rather than standing up, would lose the wedge. And then simply, if you can feel maybe one to sort of five reps off the ball, and then if you're feeling confident, <laughs> then go and hit some away. Because this, this is a tough drill. And if we can ideally keep it there throughout the whole motion, we know we've not early extended. Yeah, it's just replicating that same feeling, isn't it? I like that. Really, really good. And I think that's why both part one and part two go really nicely together. Okay, now here you go, moment of truth. Get it secure. I'm a bit nervous about this, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, always go <laughs> I'd always go a lot slower to start with. Oh, button down the middle. That. It's too classy, isn't he? And that's still in there. <laughs> so make sure you have a go at both those exercises and you've seen some banners run across the bottom in this video all about off scratch. Don't forget, we've got some free warm-up guides. We've also got seven day free trial, all to help you improve your golf.